everybody, my name is Luke Moore and this is Hot La Mode and today on Hot La Mode we are going to be reacting to Kaya Gerber's Outfits of the Week from Vogue. Kaya Gerber is the cover star for the June and July 2021 Vogue issue. In reality it's a real sort of like return to models being on covers. Kaya Gerber is the daughter of Cindy Crawford and she's walked many a runway at this point but to me she's not exactly like a nepotism model as the term is or nepo model for those in the know in the same sense that I would say of like a Kendall Jenner or like a Gigi Hadid or like a Hailey Bieber I would give Kaya more of like the Bella Hadid treatment of not exactly like a I don't want to say party girl because that's not really the thing but not exactly a super out there trying to get paparazzi trying to you know be super duper famous to me it seems like Kaya Gerber is more so just like a model and also happens to be the daughter of a very famous like 90s 80s 90s supermodel so in that regard I feel like with Kaya Gerber she's just a working model who happens to have a really famous mom I'm interested to see what this comes through as I think it should probably be a bit fashion e model off duty but before we do that we have to say a huge shout out to today's sponsor who is ExpressVPN ExpressVPN is a virtual private network service that keeps your data safe and allows you access to tap into content from all over the world. Firstly, the fact that ExpressVPN keeps your personal and professional information safe and private by preventing others from being able to see what sites you visit is superb. Honestly, it is downright commendable. ExpressVPN ensures that 100% of your data being transferred between your devices and the internet is encrypted. So to find out how you can get three months free, click the link in the description box below at expressvpn.com slash hotlamode. Secondly, ExpressVPN has made researching video topics and content so much easier for me. I swear on my life. It also doesn't hurt that I can watch my own favorite shows and movies at my own leisure. If content isn't available in the United States, I can always check if it's available in other parts of the world. I watch Crazy Rich Asians a lot. I do have professional reasons for that and that's upcoming, but for the most part, I do actually really like watching the movie, but it's not on American Netflix. But with ExpressVPN, I can change my location to Hong Kong, refresh the page, and it's available to watch and I don't even have to get on a plane. And it's not just for Crazy Rich Asians, but there are thousands of other shows you can unblock simply by switching locations. So make sure that you're protected and unlocking some great content with ExpressVPN by clicking my link in the description box below, www.expressvpn.com slash hotlamode. So let's get on with this video. Hi folks. Oh my God, I'm hi Kaya. Kaya. I'm going to be showing you what I wear in a week. I can't wait. Okay, just from like the outset, it's giving me very like modely. I feel like I see Celine, a bit of Chloe, little JW Anderson-y sort of vibe, you know, very, again, like model off duty. That's the vibe I was getting. So let's see where this goes, Monday. Oh, I'm not really like a super duper big, oh, you know, model, street style, blah, blah, blah vibe. Like that's not the thing that really gets my juices flowing. And this to me seems to have like that sort of effect. I feel like it's more so, this is what the models are wearing. So then we're gonna adapt that to the influencers and then the influencers are gonna be adapted to the mainstream. And it's sort of this like, you know, that product cycle graph, you know what I mean? It starts off at like the trendsetters and then it starts to get more and more popular and then it gets mainstream and then it like drops off and dies. Like the cycle of a trend, I would say, that's sort of like the vibe I'm getting here. This is like the beginning of that. So you have a sort of knee length, blazer in navy blue not wide leg jean but i guess maybe it is a wide leg jean it's a bit bell bottomy but like there's not a dramatic flare on it and a little tank top and a black boot let's see so this is what i would wear on the job it's a very classic oh, me look okay a blazer she's working oh pinstripe jeans. these are celine i love the fit of them. oh there with an eddie Slaman woman again I'm at the place with Celine now by Eddie Slaman that it's like, yes, I love the Phoebe Philo era. Yes, I love the Michael Kors era. But Eddie Slaman understands that like Celine is essentially for rich French women that wanted to buy Chanel but just couldn't afford it all the time. So that's what Celine really is. And this is what that sort of like perfect French jean seems to be happening here in this this imagery and also in every single Vogue headline ever. With a little heeled boot, I but don't love nothing that. crazy. Sunglasses, of course. 
and a watch because I don't want to run late. This blazer is Paco. And I like Thanks, Kaya. She said, I'm going to flex on you and I don't even need to say the full name. So she's wearing Paco Rabanne by Julian DeSena, one would presume. It is a beautiful little jacket. Paco Rabanne, iconic 1960s designer, sort of chainmail styles, very signature to the brand. It's a lot more sort of like niche now. I don't want it to be niche now, but it is. I wouldn't really expect like a Paco look in that moment, but like it's a beautifully tailored jacket. So like I'm not mad. Because okay, it's a little bit longer so you kind of get a trench coat feel. The boots are also Paco. Okay. I think my closet is literally just different versions of this outfit. I don't think I own anything else. Like that's the vibe, it seems. Other than jeans and blazers. The most important thing Ooh, for me- Oh, I like the buttons in the back of it where the vent is. See that little cut at the middle and then it's the buttons. I think that's fun. I feel like that's a cool way to actually make your jacket a little bit more utilitarian. The more you sort of unbutton it, the more it'll sort of flare out in two different sides. And then the more that it's buttoned up, the more sort of straight and stiff it will be. And I, I'm kind of into that. Mark me is comfortability. Especially after this year, I spent so many days on end in sweatpants that the fact that I'm even wearing jeans right now is a miracle. And I am not about to wear anything uncomfortable ever again in my life. Just wait till they start putting you back on the runway, hun. And then you'll be wearing uncomfortable. Okay, I mean like, not super duper mad about Monday. Oh, I like this. She seems to have like a very floaty 70s sort of moment. Very sort of boho, easy, casual. Maybe that is the pandemic and maybe that's what we're seeing more and more of. I have heard that what's happening now is a lot of people want to stay comfortable, but they actually do want to sort of dress up a little bit. So it's this like in between where it's not full avant-garde, crazy, uncomfortable, but we also have not necessarily let go of this idea of comfort in terms of sweatpants or things like that. And so that sort of seems to be the vibe here is it's very flowy, it's not really strict, it's not really pushing and pulling and tightening and stiffening anywhere. It just seems very sort of go with the flow, easy, but also not a sweatshirt. So this is what I would wear is it JW Going Anderson? out with friends. Okay. Something a little more dressy. I actually lied when I said I only wear jeans and blazers because clearly. I do love this look. I like the beautiful little bell sleeves. They're so ridiculous. I like the little handkerchief cut on a shirt. I feel like a lot of times we see handkerchief cuts on dresses, skirts, not always on shirts. And that's why I'm sort of like obsessed with this. I don't know if it necessarily matches with the pants, but like. This is something new, but it's a cute little black trouser that I love. And these trousers are Galvin and this okay. Kate top. Oh, okay. Galvin is one of those sort of, I'm not gonna say like influencer brand cause I don't want to offend. But at the same time, it's definitely not like super duper high fashion runway. To me, it's more so one of the brands that are just making nice sort of commercial, easy breezy wearable clothing. Whereas Kate sort of is in between those two things. They do do runway shows. They are quite fashion. There's some pretty good Kate looks that I still think about often. And this sort of seems to fall into that like boho 70s sort of feeling and vibe. So 70s and very cool See, and she knows. And the same Paco boots. And with this, I'd probably also wear a bag. Oh, so look at the Celine we have placement. this Celine bag. I think the gold looks really cute with this outfit. And this little print. You don't have to choose. In reality, Celine is like very 70s. I'm not really mad about the idea of putting a Celine bag with a look like this. I just think the whole look is a little bit discombobulated in my opinion. I don't love the color scheme here. It's like black and orange and dark blue and then brown and then an even darker red. Like it's it's confusing to me. That's a common misconception. You can have flair everywhere. <laughs> I I'm like not mad to about get that. vibe from my friends. Cause you don't want to show up in sweatpants when everyone else is like having a fun dressed up night. So you always mm -hmm. kind of feel it out. I'm like, is it sneakers or are we going for it? And this is probably like an in-between, I would say. I wish that was an in-between for me. I'm not mad about it. The color scheme confuses me a lot, but I like the silhouette. I like the cut. I like the risks taken with that shirt. That shirt really is like hot. All right, we're getting a hump day. Oh, so okay. It, so this is like every single daughter on the Real Housewives of any franchise sort of look. This is just like very LA influencer, LA daughter of somebody the rich and famous, LA. I also just got back from LA and by just back, I mean like two weeks ago. And so like the trauma that set in as being somebody from New York where everybody's really nice and like kind and like asks you about yourself sort of thing. It's a lot. And I feel like I'm traumatized by looks like these. It's, it's just a 
leather blazer, a little bralette, and a sort of flared black high-waisted pant with a black boot. It wouldn't be me wearing it, but again, model off duty sort of vibes. This look is, got it from my mama. My mom always referenced very classic looks. Okay. So I get that from her. She always gave me like very staple pieces to have to travel with that you can interchange. So it's the same black trousers as before okay. from Galvin. And the top is also a knit. Galvin. Made it a little bit younger and more modern. I'm sorry, mom, by adding this little bra top. I love this leather blazer from Nanushka. Oh, and a Nanushka. See, this is what I mean. This is very commercial clothing that's not super duper like in your face, like fashion, artistic, revolutionary, iconic, trying to like go down in history. It's just nice commercial clothing. It's very sort of American-y, I would say. Very like American now today style of like expensive cuts. You'd find it on your Instagram and you'd say, oh, I'm gonna shop that. Like that's sort of that vibe now, in my opinion. Did a flat boot this time from Celine. Okay. And Don't some love classic the flat sunglasses. Boot. And a tortoise like shell. A very classic shape. I feel like my mom. With the tortoise shell. I know, I know why people like tortoise shell. I don't really see the appeal unless you're wearing like jeans or like a brown shirt or like, I don't know, a brown blazer. But like with black, I don't get the, the black and brown combination here. I'm always used to wear this shape. And the one thing I yeah, stole from her very shell. young were her sunglasses. The best style advice my mom has given me is less is more. She also let me make fashion mistakes. Okay, well also if you look like Cindy fucking Crawford, less is more is easily attainable. We can all be that though. I'll say that. Which I appreciate a lot. I think the, the biggest mistake that I made was trying to dress up a lot when I was like off duty, when I first- I told, listen, I know the word, I know the buzzwords. Don't, I, I read, I'm a reader, okay? The girls love the model off duty vibe. That's like what sort of gets them a lot of pictures. If you are a street style star, you know, doing the whole Paris, London, New York, Milan fashion week that sometimes helps you book runways, campaigns, et cetera, et cetera. Everybody wants to shoot the models as they're coming out of the backstage of the show. Like sometimes they're hair is still done like inside the show, but now they're wearing their normal clothes. They have like clips in, they're smoking their cigarettes, they're drinking their coffee, you know, they're doing their whole thing. And so that sort of seems to be like the vibe here. And also like, again, if you are a model, you don't really have to dress up a lot to be like photographed or to be like beloved and to be seen as beautiful. It's just sort of, you know, a natural figure that you have and people love and your face is gorgeous and you're stunning. And so you wear simple clothes and people are like, oh, I wanna be that, I wanna look like like that and so trend cycle started modeling i was wearing like heels all the time and full looks okay and like also the other thing is street style yada yada but it's also a way of like you're young and you think you want to dress up and you want to make sure that you're going into the castings looking really cool and like the designer will like you etc etc i understand why models would do that especially trying to get into or trying to become more prominent in the industry but also i think after a while some of these models realize holy shit not even the modeling part is a lot of work. The casting process takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of stamina, mental, physical, emotional. People are talking about you and your body and how you look and your face and things you can't change about yourself. It's a lot of effort. And so that's why with models, I do genuinely have such a respect for them because they're such hard workers. They're constantly moving, constantly grooving, constantly being like picked, prodded, plucked, hair dried, air blown, undressed, redressed, new dress, old dress, like something blue, something new, something vintage, something bar. Like it's a lot of work to be a model. And I understand that it might look super duper glamorous and easy. I can assure you it is most likely not that at all. Sometimes I will see a picture of my mom and I think it's me. Oh. Like this literally happened the other okay. day. I posted a picture in this Marc Jacobs plaid dress and she texted me and she's like, Kaya, I swear where to God I had that dress in the 90s and she sent me a picture and it was the exact <gasps> same dress. Oh, and we're not gonna show us the picture. I wanna see the side by side. Other blazer feels. Which also is funny because in Kaya's thread for American Vogue, she got a lot of pages. She is wearing a Marc Jacobs floral dress. That plaid dress does seem to be very reminiscent of Marc Jacobs's very 90s grunge era. A little more dressy to me. And I wore a leather jacket for so long. Oh, so they I love the leather jackets. Like a level up for me. <laughs> I think it's just an adaptation of the trends, you know. Thursday, Thursday. Okay, so this is, got it. We've seen this. I know this outfit and I've seen it on every single model that has ever existed. So this is a date night look. 
Shocker, I'm wearing pants again. And black boots again. I'm a big fan of boots. Kaya, welcome to the club. So happy to have you here. The boots, Nancy Sinatra loved them. Halt Lamode loved them. Kaya Gerber loved them. What is there not to love? These boots are made for walking and that's just what they'll do. And one of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. I will say, I feel like Kaya is reusing a lot of styles and it seems like she's not really like, I'm gonna try super hard for this. She's like, I don't really care. And this is like what I actually wear often. And I gotta respect that. Like this is genuinely what she does seem to wear. As a model, I'm sure that getting to wear the haute couture and the new ready to wear every single season probably gets really old and boring and uninteresting interesting. I also was reading recently that for people that work in fashion, and it's true, a lot of the times because you're constantly sort of working and wearing these things or being, you know, dressed in these things, it becomes very uninteresting to wear those things when you're not working. And I understand that. I respect that. I get that. In a similar vein, I wouldn't say that that's at all what I do, but it's like me watching a fashion show for leisure. Very hard to do it. I understand why she would wear things like this. I love the word boots. I just like love to say I'm wearing boots. It just, it sounds serious. Like, oh my gosh, she has boots on. You know when you're walking through New York and there's those oh, like those vents in the sidewalk and like you see pictures of Rihanna walking on them and it's literally like, for some reason she doesn't fall. I do, I fall every time. <laughs> so like these are a boot where I know I'm safe okay. to walk over a crack or a vent. Vent friendly boots, good and to know. And you don't sink into grass either, so. They're grass safe also. <laughs> Foreshadowing, these boots could also be worn with a dress, maybe. Tune in to maybe see these boots maybe be worn with a dress, maybe, I don't know. These Celine jeans are very like classic French okay, so girls, same straight same legs, jeans. the same Paco shoes with a little heel because it's uh -huh. date night. And this top is Kate, it's very cute strap. Loves the Kate in a rib knit, very, you know, casual. Yes. And the leather jacket is also Kate. Oh wow, so she's a Kate girl. I didn't realize this. I hope Kate is Wearing sponsoring. Strapless. Or at it's least kind dressing. Of like playing Russian roulette. Her. But I think it like adds a fun element to the night. Like a boob might come out. We don't know. I do kind of like her. Like the conversations that she's having with herself is very fun and very enjoyable. If your boob pops out, I don't think anybody should ever feel embarrassed. I mean, you can feel embarrassed if you'd like, I understand, but I don't think it's anything to feel at all, you know, uneasy about. Bodies are beautiful, no shame, yada yada. No, oh, like I can't promise you <laughs> that you're not going to have at least one boob come out, if not both. This is a good date look. This is like bare maximum. I want you to know a little bit about me, like I'm cool, I'm down with anything, I'm wearing a leather jacket, but you know, you have like the cute little like feminine top, which adds a little like girly element. And then uh -huh. jeans, cause you're like, yeah, if you want to take me on an adventure after this, I'm not going to be like, oh no, I can't because I'm wearing a skirt. It's like, yes, I will go hike up a mountain with you. Eat. I didn't say it out loud, but I knew at some point she was going to mention like, I'm a model and I'm, you know, very, you know, feminine and I wear the dresses and all of that, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like rugged, I'm down to earth. I can like go in nature. And I feel like that's a very like modely thing is like, yes, this is my day job, but in reality, I'm also actually a very, you know, at one with nature human being who's into fitness and regular schmegular stuff. I knew in my head that this conversation was coming. Even in my Paco heels. They're my safety blanket. Boots are a safety blanket. <laughs> Boots. This is why I think I'm low-key a Kai Gerber Sant. All right, we're at Friday. Okay. She said I literally don't care, Vogue. This is my going to the gym look. Also, if you've seen any picture of me within the last year, I've probably only- Does she this. work out enough? This is like the most realistic outfit probably of my entire week because this is what I wear every day. I have a little like matching workout set here, which is very cute. I have no- Okay. I like the little twist on it. You know, it's not the normal sort of straight- it's Idea like where I think this is fine. from, but I found it on Instagram and I love it. <laughs> Guys, uh, found it on Instagram. That is the way that people shop now. And my leg warmers. Um, and uh -huh. I'm a big fan of Pilates, so that's why I'm wearing Uggs because they're very comfortable and warm. And my sunglasses. Oh, do you get cold doing Pilates? Is it like the opposite of hot yoga? I don't know anything about Pilates, so like. And how could I forget my matching hand sanitizer that I just oh. clip onto my bag? I bet you that's like. Hermes or something. An accidental match, but it has become my favorite part of my year that I have this matching hand sanitizer with my bag. So we're chic, we're clean, we are safe. This is a beauty tip. I'm not really licensed to give out beauty tips. I'm not really licensed to give out any tips. 
But I will say hand sanitizer has alcohol in it and alcohol definitely helps to quicken up the wrinkling process. So washing your hands might be the better route just for like longevity reasons. And also perfume has alcohol in it often. So like be careful where you're spraying that. And then this little fleece jacket is from Free People and I have it in multiple colors. Mm, and my bag is from that. Celine. The only wore Uggs, it's like, it's your beach shoe, it's your walk shoe. I guess it's I don't really think about Uggs as a beach shoe, but I'm pretty positive that Uggs or the predecessor to Uggs sort of came about through like surf culture. So it is very confusing because it's a literal like suede and wool or fur lined boot. And so again, like confused, I guess maybe it makes sense in a cold atmosphere possibly, but like I know what she's saying and you can look up the history of like Uggs and all that sort of stuff and you will see that like it is part of like an Australian beach culture sort of thing and definitely has like much more indigenous native Australian histories and all of that sort of stuff. So like look into that. Maybe I'll do a history video of like a sheepskin shoe, but I understand why she's saying she's going to the beach in an Ugg. It's your, you wear them to school. I'll probably be in this outfit until I go to sleep. It's great that now people are making cute and functional workout sets, but functionality over everything. Oh, utilitarian. Workout clothes, always. I would also like to point out that these are called Ugg boots. <laughs> Shout out. I like her, she makes you laugh. Okay, Saturday. Okay. So this is like the most silly thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Okay, so this is my going to get coffee. Didn't want to leave the house, but have to look. Love, could always make coffee at home, but like, I don't know, there's a weird coffee culture that I don't understand. The whole like LA coffee culture thing is like, okay, I'm gonna go get coffee, I'm gonna drink it. Everybody's gonna take pictures of me whilst you know, I'm drinking said coffee. And this seems exactly like the outfit that one would expect to see as somebody going to get a coffee at like La Colombe or like Cha Cha Matcha. Nice Celine bra. And Hi. Celine Blazer kind of. I knew it was gonna be a Celine Blazer. I knew it. I do like the Celine Blazer. I don't I don't hate this look. I don't know. Something about like spending a lot of time with a brand and its runway looks and all that sort of stuff, it like makes you somewhat kind of like their work. And like something about Celine has like switched in my mind. Like, yes, obviously I do love the Phoebe Philo era. I do, don't get it wrong. But something about this new era of Celine under Eddie Salman is also just like weirdly accurate of like rich basic people dresses it up, you can throw it on. I could sleep in this outfit. Are the sweatpants and then, Celine? This is actually might shock the masses. I'm not wearing boots. I am wearing, in fact, sneakers. Uh -huh. So these are a white Celine sneaker. Really yeah. comfortable, functional, and throw on some sunglasses. I need to know about the sweatpants. Are they cashmere? Are they cashmere sweatpants? Because honestly, that is like richpeopleflex.com. Having your gray jersey sweatpants be made out of cashmere. To feel like, dressed up. These sweatpants are Brandy Melville, shout out. God damn it. I would love to hear about a beautiful Celine cashmere sweatpant, but Brandy, I feel like she's in that age range of like young women that love free people and Brandy Melville and Madewell. Which is the one that's really horrible and like it's always a TikTok joke of like, I went into Brandy Melville and they said, oh, you're not a quadruple XS. You're not like a negative seven on the size scale. So like we have nothing for you. Sorry, you have to go. Is that Brandy? That might possibly be Brandy. I feel like it is Brandy. Brandy Melville has been a staple in my life since I was in like fifth grade. I've always had more of an androgynous type of style and I don't even think that uh -huh. word applies anymore like I feel like every brand is kind of for everyone now but I've always been Not more exactly drawn wrong. towards like what would be considered more masculine shapes and I think that's why I like blazers. I did go to this really horrible store when I was in LA it's like a boutique or whatever and as soon as I walked in they were like the men's section is over there and I was like, okay, good for the men. Won't catch me in there. Menswear like scares the shit out of me. So if I do buy from a luxury brand or whatever, I usually am buying what is considered women's wear. And I do feel like a lot of brands genuinely don't care anymore. They understand that in reality, anybody can buy anything. It doesn't really matter. And like giving somebody a dirty look when they spend thousands of dollars on a garment or a shoe or a bag or whatever is like incredibly dumb. And also again, like they are inanimate objects. So like gendering them is really weird. It's very strange and not understandable. So yeah, just so you know. And I like that Kaya is saying this because it is pretty true. And I didn't have an older sister. I had an older brother. So I wanted Heelys and I wanted sweatshirts and I wanted like those how old is she? with the brims that all the skaters wore. My idea. Oh my God, I'm dead. I 
wait, I'm, okay, that one, I, I didn't mean to pause on this outfit. That one's not good. That's it's horrible. Maybe abolish androgyny for this picture solely, but. Fashion was this like skater yeah. surfer culture. I'm probably getting back in bed Ooh, look and at reading that. a book or watching. Okay, reader, we a love that. Or playing with my dogs. And like, I probably would take my pants off too, if we're being fully honest, but I won't right okay. now. We love honesty, I guess. She seems like a real person at least, which I'm happy to see. A lot of this does genuinely seem like it is stuff that she actually would wear. It is stuff that reflects her actual wardrobe that you see her out in on the daily. Like, yes, obviously there's probably some like placement of certain brands, maybe like a Celine or a Kate or stuff like that. But at the same time, like a lot of this does seem like stuff she genuinely wears. You know, this is like a good mixture of things that are luxury, things that are sort of, you know, in that vibe, but also at the same time, pretty viable, shoppable and relatable to a young audience. The other thing is like, I'm not obsessed with the outfits, but it's not Addison Rice. So like I will take that. Oh, oh hey, okay, baby didn't doll see dress. You there. This is my going out look when the world opens back up. Summer 2021, mm. very free. I can feel the breeze. She's waiting for June 15th. I learned this because every Uber driver that I had in LA really wanted to talk. Don't know why. And they all told me June 15th is when Los Angeles is supposed to like open back up again or California. I guess maybe that's what she's waiting for. A boot that I wanted to wear mm. all of 2020. Interesting. And did not get to. I didn't realize that the wood sole is like back in. I thought maybe those were out for a hot minute. I thought that, yeah, they're not that cute. I still think they're not that cute, but interesting to know. So I don't know. care if it's a hundred degrees out. I'm wearing my high boots with oh. my summer dress. And these boots are from Bifar. They're very cute. Bifar, advertiser, Coke. Also comfortable. The dress is from Doen. And the Doen, I do not know. My sunglasses, because I feel like it adds a little bit of like a Sharon Tate vibe. Forever referencing Sharon Tate. Okay. I mean like love that for Sharon Tate. Low-key legend, RIP. I will say the sort of pilgrim cottage quarry sort of dress definitely has like the remnants of early parts of quarantine, early parts of this like wealthy leaving cities and mass for country homes. To me, it's very reminiscent of one Marie Antoinette who used to dress up as a peasant because she was bored in her palace. Complicated woman. But that's what this sort of reminds me of is this sort of like getting back to nature that people really, really did cling to very early on in uh, lockdowns and quarantines, etc. Maybe I'm going to the farmer's market. Maybe I'm taking my dog for a walk. Maybe I'm having a lunch, even a brunch. Who knows? This is a very versatile outfit. Okay. I, I also would like just want to twirl, you know? Yeah. And I love like a little feminine puffy sleeve. So it's a like, baby is doll, she sweet? Always cute or, in my like, opinion. What will she do? We don't know. And that's what's so exciting about this outfit. <laughs> Vogue, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, what Kaya. I this was I hope lovely. You I hope you get some boots. I hope you get some blazers. I hope you get some inspiration. Bye. I love that she loves a boot. I was expecting a lot more than that. I understand that it is very much so what she wears on the regular, very easy, very outfit of the week, very realistic. I appreciate that. I do wish there was maybe like one or two looks that were actually, oh, I don't know a bit more exciting. A fantasy thrown in there is not underappreciated. I respect the truthfulness of realistic outfits, but also like I've seen enough pictures of Kaya Gerber on the street wearing things like this, holding whatever coffee brand she is getting. So like, I'm good on that regard. I do like a little bit more of a exciting, little bit out there, a little bit cool, funky, little pops of color, et cetera, et cetera. But also again, I understand this is like actually how she dresses. This is actually what an outfits of the week video is supposed to entail. So like, I get it. It's just, I'm me and want more, always. Honestly, my favorite outfit of the week, this might be controversial. I don't know why I kind of am like so ridiculously drawn to it, but I like that Celine crop top blazer sweatpant look. I, ju I just, I don't know. It feels very now. It feels very current. It feels very like, let's take a bunch of things that have already existed and mash it all together. I don't know why. I feel like I'm going to regret saying this on camera, but there's something about it. My least favorite look does have to go to that black leather jacket with Galvin set underneath. In this photo or picture or pausing of this video, she does actually really truly look like Cindy Crawford. It is kind of scary how similar they look. I literally was like, wait, Cindy. 
and it's Kaya. But yeah, it's not, I don't love it. I think it's blah, it doesn't interest me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know which of your favorite looks was in here. If you had any, what you think. Do you think this is so realistic that it is just great because of that? Do you think it's just so realistic it's not great? Do you think it's, I don't know, something that should have been a little bit more pizzazzed up? I'd like to know. Again, thank you to ExpressVPN. Check that link in the description box below. I will see you guys in the next video and TTYL.